Hello, my name is Jessie, and in today's session, we're going to show you how to perform a search in the Koha Online Catalog, as well as perform an advanced search. The first thing we'll do is show you how to search. Over here on the left, you're going to have a drop-down menu. It will either say Catalog or Keyword. This allows you to perform a keyword search. Just as I would go to Koha or Google and perform a keyword search, I can come in here and start to type in a phrase or a keyword into the system. Over here I have options. If my library has one branch, it will allow me to search, or I can choose a specific branch, or perhaps the default of all libraries. Once my search is being run, it will bring back a list of results in my system where I can see a match. If I did the keyword search, it's going to highlight the particular titles that were found. So here I can see I found a wildflower uh, title about folklore. This will be a brief result. From here I can click on that title and it will give me a little more information where I can see perhaps subject headings or a description. If I hit that back button, I will be taken back to my list of results and over here on the left hand side I can refine my results. I want to see items that are currently available in the library or perhaps I want to drill down by authors, maybe a particular location, or maybe I'm just looking for a DVD. I can also drill down by perhaps a series that I'm looking for or a topic or maybe even a location in the library. Maybe I want a new book. If I come back up to the top, I have other options. I can also search by the title of a particular item, an author, a subject, an ISBN number, a series, or a call number. Now, I also have an advanced search feature. This will allow me to get a little more specific. So now I can say I am looking for wildflowers, but maybe I'm going to use my Boolean connector and say I am not looking for folklore. Now as I search down below, I have a couple more options. Perhaps I'm looking for a book. I can also look by shelving location. Shelving location would be where that book lives or where that item lives in the library. Or maybe I'm even looking for a collection code, something that would describe that particular collection. If I scroll down even further, I have a few more options. I could look by a particular range. Maybe I'm looking for something after the year of 2000. Maybe I'm looking for a particular language. Maybe I'm looking at a particular branch or location in my library. Now, by default, Koha searches by relevancy. However, if I wanted to look for titles from A to Z, I can select that as well. My last row down here may or may not be at your library, but this will allow me to search by a particular audience. So if I was looking for a fiction book for my young adult or pre-adolescent child, I could select that. I could also look for content if I was looking for fiction or perhaps format. Perhaps I was looking for maybe, let's say, regular print. I can also drill down by additional types. Maybe I was looking for a handbook or a survey or certain statistics. Once I'm done, I hit that search button and that will take me back to those brief results. So now you'll see my search for wildflower that doesn't include folklore and I have a nice list here. You'll notice again I have those facets over here on the left hand side so I can refine my search and then drill down of course by availability, authors, holding libraries, item types, locations or series. And this is your Searching Basics on using the Koha Online Catalog.